What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we do have these two packages right here that we're going to be unboxing for you guys. My boy Zach Flickinger. Yes, Flickinger. Uh, I'm not making fun of you, bud. I think that's a great name. I think it's just, it rolls off the tongue. It's just Flickinger. I, I think that's fantastic. But anyways, he did send us some fan mail right here that I'm very excited for. And I thought that he was just going to send me like one thing. So I, I don't know what he, uh, what else he put in here. I'm super duper excited to find out what we got. And in here, I think this is just some uh, custom fodder that uh, I, uh, somebody commissioned a custom AJ Styles. And this is some of the parts to that figure that we're going to be unbagging here today, guys. But uh, anyways, I guess we can just dive straight in no trusty knife here today nothing crazy as usual so we're just going to roll on into this thing and open her on up and what we have in here as you guys will see uh we got the envelope there uh, we have the figure right here, and it is just an elite WrestleMania 33 Shawn Michaels figure, but it does have AJ Styles kick pads, but it looks like these are basic kick pads, I do believe, and it still works, though. You can pop these onto the Shawn Michaels body, and I think this may be painted, or no, he, he had black kick pads. I don't know what I'm talking about, but here we go, guys. It actually looks pretty nice. I like the way this looks. I know these are basic, so you don't get ankle pivot or anything, but it's not that bad of, like, hindered articulation. You, you literally don't really lose that much articulation with the basic kick pads pads in here but this is what we got we're going to be turning this into a red and black new japan bla uh, bullet club attire i believe is what we're going to be doing i don't know if he wants this torso and we're going to add the aj decal or if he wants us to switch it out for the other torso so i'm not exactly sure we're also going to have to add some knee pads and stuff like that but none of that stuff is hard to do but we do have the nice little base kick pads here i think the basic kick pads actually look better than the elite am i insane i just i think they may look better i don't know again you do lose that ankle pivot but you do i think it looks good i, I I'm a fan of it, but that is what we have in the first package, guys. Nothing crazy here. Just a WrestleMania 33 HBK with those basic AJ boots. That looks pretty sweet. So now we're going to move on to this bag. Again, I don't know what we got. I did go ahead and rip it open, but I, I like to be surprised on camera just like you guys because that's, you know, that's part of the excitement and stuff. So we're going to open this up just like we opened up our HBK here. And it looks like we do have a big old baggie full of stuff. What is this? I do see what we got, but we have some extras in here. Super excited to find out what we got in here. Uh, it looks like the first figure that we have is a Jax Deluxe Aggression of my boy Randy Orton, one of my favorites of all time, second favorite of all time actually, and this is some figures that I grew up with. I think these came out and when I was in elementary school growing up. These, these were fantastic. I mean, they're pretty much just a larger scale version of elite figures, guys. I mean, these, these were great. I really love them. I'm going to stack it up a little bit here. That way we can uh, get the full figure in here. And you guys can see, that looks just like Randy Orton. I mean, the head scans were phenomenal. This is before he was all tatted up. It's the black and red attire. Um, Randy Orton's obviously worn all kinds of different gears. But the same gear that he's always had, just different colorways. Uh, again, he's not all tatted up. And I think Jax is one of the, the, the deluxe aggression, actually. Put it where the skulls actually went onto his torso. Mattel doesn't do that. They end it on the shoulder here. So it's pretty cool that they go onto the torso when he updates his tattoos. This head scan could actually, I bet if you repainted it, you could actually fit it on a Mattel figure. I, I'm, I bet you could. Even though the Elite 49, or yeah, it's Elite 49, Randy Orton, Legend Killer. I think that this head scan could work for that if you wanted to repaint it. Even though that head scan is phenomenal, maybe you could do it. Uh, maybe like a debut Orton or an Orton from early, early on, maybe around 2002, 2003. You could probably do something cool with that. No knee pads on the guy, but that's a really cool Randy Orton figure. It looks like we have a second figure in here, and it's Deluxe Aggression again. We got Undertaker, and look at this head scan. I mean, my God, guys, look at what Jax was giving us. Can you, can you look at this? My Lord, look how detailed the tongue is, though. Look at that paint detail and sculpt detail in there. Maybe we could do a tongue transplant. Maybe cut the tongue out and put it on a Finn Balor head scan like BEW or something. But you guys can see this Undertaker figure is pretty nice. Again, I actually remember having this figure back in the day. It was fantastic. Again, I think BEW actually has a triple threat match on his YouTube channel using this figure and he does a fantastic job. I think it's Edge, CM Punk, and Undertaker and here we go. You got Randy Orton, the Legend Killer. Take it on Undertaker here. Fantastic stuff, man. Love these figures. They're really great figures, guys. I mean, they were way ahead of their time. They got great ab crunch and all the joints are tight. So I, I could actually use these if I wanted to. Obviously, they wouldn't be in scale with the pick fit or anything, but anyways, moving on to the next figure, we have a basic Tommaso Ciampa, the NXT champion right here, and I'm glad he sent this over. It gives me an extra Ciampa head scan. It also gives me some extra knee pads, and it gives me an extra crowd member. So thank you so much, Zach, 
for the epicness right here. I can definitely get some usage out of this Tommaso. So there we have Champa, and uh, you know, the Mattel didn't do too well on the first basic or uh, any of the basic DIY. They didn't do really too well on the release either. They were absolutely awful, but he is rumored to be in Elite Series 68 or, or 69, I'm sorry. He is rumored to be in Elite Series 69, so hopefully they'll update all his parts and give us some good stuff. This is one of the things I knew would be in here, and this is basic Seth Rollins knee pads, and they are the open ones with the gold trim. I am using these for a specific attire for Seth Rollins, so I am very excited to get these. Thank you so much, bro. This is part of our deal here, so I'm going to be using these for a custom, so I definitely needed those. That was part of it. And then the second figure that was part of it was this Elite 45 Seth freaking Rollins, and you guys know how I am. I have so many Seth Rollins. I think this is my... I, I, I don't know, like 55th, I'm not even going to lie to you, I think this is my 55th Elite Seth Rollins in my collection. We're going to be using this for a fantasy attire. I think I have like five or six of these figures, but I like to have some for different moments. I like to have some for future customs, and I like to have some for just fantasy customs that I want to make. So that's what this is going to be. We're going to take this and turn this into a fantasy attire Seth Rollins. Just like we always do. So this is a fantastic figure in the SummerSlam 2015 attire. We got the Elite 45 Seth freaking Rollins looking freaking fantastic. And now we're going to move on to what else we got in here. Uh, what do we got? Oh, Snapsies McGapsies. He sent us a Stone Cold brace, knee brace. Looks great. It is all black, and I like that a lot. What else we have? Oh, Snap. He actually threw in another piece of equipment right here. I always thought this was hilarious. You can actually shoot these out. And um, I don't know exactly like what you would use this for. It, it totally works for more Jax figures than Mattel, but this is sort of like fantasy. Like obviously, if you're shooting dumbbell weights, and obviously th this is way too thick, guys. You ever see a barbell at the gym that has this thick of a bar? Um, it's just not realistic. It doesn't even look like a, a dumbbell or a, a barbell. I mean, I guess this kind of does, but uh, I don't know. I think that's hilarious that this is so thick. You, I think you're supposed to use this clip. You put it on the wrist of the figure. We'll put it on Seth Rollins here and then um, I guess you put it here and then you just shoot it across. It's actually got a really good spring in there. Whatever they put in there, that spring actually is pretty loaded. It freaking shot this thing across the freaking arena. Look at this. I mean, so it, it, it's got some range on it there, but that is the dumbbell. I believe that did come with the Randy Orton Deluxe Aggression, so that's pretty cool. He included the original accessory that came with that figure. And the last one that we have is this Elite, I don't remember the series, is it 33 Seth Rollins? Or is it earlier than that? I honestly can't remember. It may be Elite, that, I, I don't know. Somebody hit me down in the comments section below. Is it Elite 31 or 33? I, I can't remember. But this is before uh, Mattel knew how to make Seth Rollins head scans. I mean, it's not a terrible head scan, but compared to like his Elite 37, compared to the Elite 45, compared to the True Effects Top Talents Elite 64, all those different Seth Rollins head scans that we have nowadays, this shield one is just not good. And this is actually um, something I can use for future customs. We got another Elite Shield Seth Rollins that I can add into the collection. And now, if it was uh, 55 Elite Seth Rollins, well now it's 56 Elite Seth Rollins. And that is all good. Thank you so much, Zach, guys. Um, I'm going to check this because I feel like I saw a note in there. Yes, there is a note. I want to read the note aloud to the class. So we're going to open this up. My name Toys, I know you were only expecting the knee pads and Seth Rollins, but I had to add some things. Thank you for everything you do for the figure community. Thank you so much, bro. That means a lot to me. And personally, making me start to collect again. P.S. The Deluxe Aggression figures were my first ever figures when I was a kid. Burn it down. Sincerely, Zach Flickinger. Thank you so much, bro. This is amazing. Thank you so much for the kind note. Going to stick that into the MDT fan mail section because I like to hold on to them. And uh, that's so nice of you to say for the stuff that I've done for the community, guys. I wouldn't be anywhere without my subscribers and, the, and my followers and whoever watches me and enjoys the content here on the channel. Wouldn't be anywhere. Wouldn't have any anything without you guys. So thank you so much for watching and making this channel worth it and this hobby worth it and everything in between. But thank you so much for the, the fan mail here. We got all these great figures. We're going to set everything up and take a look at everything we got here today and we're going to wrap this thing up. So here's our entire haul all lined up guys. Again, huge shout out to Zach for the epic package here today. We got the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, the two deluxe aggression figures of two of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Of course, the legend killer Randy Orton and we do have Undertaker. We have the other Elite flashbacks 
next Seth Rollins, we have the basic AJ boots on our Elite Fodder Shawn Michaels that we're going to make into an epic AJ Styles custom. And then, of course, we have our Tommaso Ciampa basic NXT Target exclusive with our knee brace and our epic Seth Rollins open basic knee pads. I wish they would put those on the Elites. It would be so nice to have the open white knee pads instead of having to track down those basics with the white open gold knee pads from SummerSlam. It would be so nice to have those on the Elite figures, but sometimes you can't control it, guys. Thank you so much, Zach, for the nice note and the epic fan mail. Guys, go give him a follow on Instagram. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Suck it.